Hi there. Here I'm going to show you. We've got to bail this water out of this tie-in. To show you a safe way of getting a bail hole without clanking the pipe. It's going to be a little more difficult because I got a cleanup bucket on. But start at the top of your ditch. Feel your frost off. You gotta pull it out wide enough that your cleanup bucket will fit down there or your digging bucket will fit down there. And be off to the side of the pipe. Which is pretty obvious, but sometimes you can make a mistake because the pipe is under the water. So you can't see exactly how close you can get with your bucket. Start far enough away and work your way in. It's like pretty safe. So, now that you got your frost off, start working your way in. Side of the bank. See how the right edge of my bucket, you never want it to go outside, like when you're cutting, to go outside of, I guess, would be the slope of the ditch. See right here? I can still see that that's above the water, so I'm safe to go. You know, outside of that part of the ditch. Once you start going below the water, where you can't see that pipe, then you have to be in the same, basically the safe zone. You have to be over far enough so that you're not going to catch that pipe. See how I'm doing it there? And the thing is, you don't have to get that close to the pipe. As long as you can break that, get a bit of a hole here, and break that edge, that water's just going to pour into your bale hole anyways. Nine times out of ten, the pressure of the water itself will cave the edge of that bank in right into your ditch. And then once you get the water down far enough where you can see the pipe, then you can move over a little closer, right? See how I'm just edging my way over? Water's starting to come in now. See, I'm still in virgin ground, so I'm safe. Even if the pipe's right up against the bank, as long as you stay in virgin ground, you should be all right. Push over towards it instead of dig it down. There we go. Now she's coming in good. There, once the water starts coming in, then you can start bailing it out. I know you can't see where I'm bailing it to in the picture, but as I was digging it, I made a berm so that the water will be held on the back side of the spill pile. This works in any condition, in the winter time or the summer time. As long as you stay on virgin ground with your bucket and then inch your way over as you go down. Hoping here, and once I get enough water out, that ice will collapse, and I'll be able to see the pipe. Be able to inch a little closer. The water's 
motor's pouring in good enough now that we don't have to worry about that yet. You guys can just bear with me for a few minutes till this water runs down, hopefully. That ice will collapse. Still a lot of water in there though. If there's anything that you guys would like to see, any suggestions on techniques or anything that you want me to make a video of, just let me know. I'll try and get something fabbed up. No, I'm going to try and break that ice by dumping this water on top of it. There we go. There, see, now I can see the pipe. So, let's got all the water out of there. Yeah, so, there you go. That's one technique for bailing out a ditch when you can't see the pipe. Hope that helps.